Hey everybody, Nick Licamelli here. Today, um, we're talking about something that um, I've been thinking about recently and, and it has to do with whether or not um, what is commonly accepted or what is commonly preached um, by the general public and the majority, whether that um, guides the way that, um, that, that some leaders in the field uh, put out content, right? So what I mean is, for example, it is my perception that the majority of um, people who work out and, and um, healthcare practitioners and anyone that deals with pain or rehabilitation, it is my understanding, my, um, my interpretation and bias of the current state of things that um, we tend to take too much of a biomechanical approach, right? And there's more to pain than tissue damage. And um, pain is, isn't is always a bad thing, right? Pain doesn't mean danger. Um, and, and I kind of preach this these things to, to um, encourage people and reassure people that if they have pain, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. They don't need to go seek some quick fix treatment or get, you know, some kind of medication or get surgery. Of course, there's always times for that, but um, my bias is to um, is to go against that, right? To empower people to realize that even though you may have pain, it's okay. Because um, I think the majority of of the general public, it, uh, the, the feeling is to um, have pain equals problem equals need to buy solution, right? And it's it's everywhere. It's on social media. Um, it's on uh, daytime news, right? On, on regular media. Um, the, uh, the idea that we have to, um, if, if you're, if you're in pain or, uh, you know, you're broken and need to be fixed. And it is my goal to, um, to counteract that with evidence, um, and anecdote and, and my own, you know, professional experience. However, um, I was thinking that what if that was not the case, right? So what if everyone out there, um, thought how I just said, right? What if everyone out there thought, um, and believe that, oh, pain is not a big deal. Pain is just um, an inconsistent, multifactorial thing. Why even pay attention to it? Um, if that's what the majority were thinking, was thinking, maybe I wouldn't be putting out this kind of content. Maybe I'd be putting out content that says, hey, pain is actually a protective uh, response, right? Um, pain can actually help you and, and, and be protective of you and is indicative of certain things that you may want to be aware of. Um, so, so keep that in mind because the more content that, that, you, that we put out, um, that stuff stays, right? That stays there. So um, if down the road the, the tables turn and everyone now is, 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 um, is back to, you know, the one, the one way the pendulum swings and then it swings the other way, um, then maybe it's time to bring people back to the center and, and kind of preach more of that um, pain. Hey, pain can be tissue damage. Pain can be a bad thing. Um, surgery sometimes is the answer. Uh, injections sometimes are the answer. Um, so um, it, it's important to always, always, always audit yourself. If you're putting out content, why am I putting out this content, right? Is it because of, am I being influenced by what the majority um, is thinking? And is that why I'm, I'm putting this out? Or is it really because it's how I truly feel? Um, and, and I think education um, should take into account what the general public and what your audience um, feels because you want to help them um, you know, better, uh, better their understanding of a certain subject. So um, if, if, if they're on one extreme, you want to kind of educate them to bring them back more to the center. If they're on the other extreme, you want to kind of educate them and kind of move them back to the center if that's the case. Um, so, so I do think that the audience should drive the content that you produce somewhat. Um, but I also think that we have to be careful um, not just to um, go against or, or let the audience completely influence uh, the content we put out because this stuff's going to be out there forever. So um, really, really, really try to put an unbiased, um, you know, unbiased content out there and, and the best available evidence and always keep an open mind to both sides because you never know, you know what's going to happen or how the pendulum may swing uh, in the future. So. Um, we'll leave it there for today. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want, and we'll see you next time.